Hey, this is Chief Former with a video review. Energon Snowcat arrived the other day, and well, as promised, here's the review. Now, Energon Snowcat is a G.I. Joe Snowcat, I believe. I've never actually been a fan of G.I. Joe, I don't know a anything at all about G.I. Joe, so I'm pretty reserved about it, and I think th this mode is rather weak from the back half, no, back. this part I love, um, this part, rather not, I mean, it's just a mess. The missile launcher are clearly visible, and it just nothing keeps it together. It's just weak. Otherwise, decent. Nice little detail. The windshield wiper moves, and the windshield is actually sculpted to be like uh, frosted around the windshield wiper's reach. Very nice detail. I like it. I like this. It rolls around fairly easily. He has a little Decepticon symbol right here. And uh, the tank treads, of course, doesn't move. It's after all Hasbro. He has two small wheels here instead, and these big wheels here. Mm, vehicle hyper mode. Start off by taking these skis and moving them down and around. These skis move down. And of course everything comes undone as you move them. Like so. And the missile launchers go. Should go up. So. That's the vehicle hyper mode, which of course looks even worse. I mean, look, look at this. It's just. It's horrible. Oh well. And you can of course see his head here and like every single little joint. And these screws. Major detractor. I'm not a big fan of Snowcat's vehicle mode. So just it gets like a 6.5 out of 10. Thankfully, the robot mode makes up for it. So just let's just transform back into regular vehicle mode quickly. That. And to begin the transformation, I'll just take this whole section and swing it down, and it clicks into place. Spin it around and move the skis like that. A lot of people turn them like this, but it hinders the knee articulation, so. And the instructions tell you to do this. Like like this, sorry. Do the same to the other side. Now, take this and snap it off. Fold it down. Split the back half apart. And just gently pull it out to the sides. Like so. This little flap rotates around. There's small sliders here, so the hands can come out. This part goes down, up. And it all just tucks neatly onto his back. And... Split his legs. 
And there you have Energon Snowcat. Now, I like this mode a lot. I loved Snowcat in the cartoon. Yes, I'm actually one of those who like Energon, though I prefer Superlink. Mm. Snowcat is very show accurate. He has pretty much all the details, including his giant belly. This guy gives animated Ratchet a, a good fight for energy on belly. What would you call that? Uh, never mind. He's fairly articulated. Head can move just about that much before it hits this part. And it can all. These skis are very loose, so you can, head can also, it's not ball joints, it can kind of look up. Not much though, sorry. Uh, arms, 360, in, out, rotate, bend, waist, hips are ball jointed, they do not twist. And bend at the knee. That's about it. But still, he can achieve some pretty decent poses. Just. Like. So? Now, as the vehicle hyper mode was rather weak, the robot mode one is much better. Start off, you take these ski skis and move them to the back of the legs. And just simply fold them down. Take the cannons on the back, move them up and around. And just kind of... I do it like this. I'm not sure what the instructions say. So now you have Snowcat with it with his snow blowers and skis. Which looks pretty cool. I just wish the cannons could go further in, but that's just nitpicking. But this lo definitely looks cool. And articulation isn't hindered at all. Uh I'm really happy with with Snowcat. The only news picks is the rather lame vehicle mode and the loose skis. Otherwise, I'm perfectly happy. I give the robot mode a 9 out of 10. And overall, I'll give the figure a... Let's say... 8.5 to 9 out of 10. The vehicle mode detracts a little bit, but the robot mode mode more than well makes up for it. This is T-Former, signing out.